and tear away. At the same time, we have what we call our water content. What's our water content? What goes inside the tank? What does get fit inside the tank? It's going fit 47.7 pounds. So where do we know transportation on transporting this? The law states that we cannot exceed 80% of, of our basically water column rate or the capacity of the tank. That's a won't blow up. It won't blow up. It won't pop that valve. It won't pop the valve, which is right there. So what prior? So the DOT, the DOT can pull you over at any time. Take this tank off your truck, throw it on the scale. And write you a big, a hefty ticket. They love HVAC guys out there on the uh, out there in the international center. So if you leave them out, this is easy money. You guys don't know any better. So what the key is is that we're going to take our take our tear weight, right? We're going to add what weights above the tear weight, and that's going to be basically the total weight of our product or the total weight of our tank. The simple way to do is take our water column rate or the 47.7. And times it by 0.8. When we times that by 0.8, that's going to give us what, what our maximum capacity weight can be for this thing. So we'll take our tear weight plus our refrigerant weight, and we're just put on a scale. We start loading it up. If we get within that calculated rate, then we know we're over capacity. We each exceeded. 80% capacity. They want to maintain 20% capacity for transportation, not for service. Wait, so what are we doing with the tear weight? Are we adding it in with the with the water Correct. capacity? No, that's just right now that tells us the full capacity of this tank before you something so we know what the tear weight is. This tear weight when this tank is empty is 28.2, 28 pounds two ounces. So we can put this on a scale if we had this 28 point four we know we still two ounces of refrigerant or oil left in this tank. But at the same time we know that the 47, we take the 47.7, deduct the 28.2 from that, that tells us how much air weight on top of that, how much weight we have in this tank. So, makes sense? I think so. Times by 0.8. So, we just need to maintain capacity for transportation. As service, we can put this on a scale and we can really start knowing what we're going to achieve full capacity by having it on a scale. So, First thing first, we gotta find a system we want to suck the shit out of. Is that the one you're gonna do? Sure. Oh boy. Well, the other thing that we gotta figure out too is you don't want to hook up? Never done this before. Yeah. So we got what would this be? Drill or high side? And this would be what? So the first thing we gonna do. We want to make sure everything's cool. Oh, okay. So we don't have any surprises as we load up the system. So we're going to look to make sure we got trigger ports in there. We do. So we're going to go ahead and feel free to hook up your hoses. solid feed on both. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is, what's next? <laughs> we, need, so we need to know what refrigerant we're dealing with, is that not correct? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we don't want to mix. So we got a jug that I hope is R22, and I got a jug here at Brussels, I hope it's R410. So the key is to figure out what refrigerant this is. Is the inside, is the inside molly evaporate core going to tell us? No. All the evaporate is going to say is that I'm rated. It's rated for a 410. Oh, okay. right. You go out to the condenser. 
But I'm sure There's other ways we can look at it. We can look at its R410A by looking at TXB. Yeah, like See the if pressure. the TXB head is R410A rated, and we can assume, assume it's R410A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. number different R410A TXB and R domain system. The most easiest way to do it, go up to the connecting unit. Connecting unit, look at the placard. It should say oh, R410A, R22, because that's the mothership. Yeah. That's, right. that's what's doing all the work. And so based on that, we're on system number two. Number two. Two. Right. Five. Well, there's one there, three here. Six. So, so that's two. Yeah. Seven. No. Don't assume. No. That's right. Oh, oh hey. Where's that? I don't have a screwdriver. Oh, yeah. Let me go out there and make sure All right. <laughs> Paint on the unit. But um, that one says one. In the case of this one, it's, see this one says one. It's damn well faded. Like a little spit it helps kind of regurgitate it. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Let's see. Oh, punch on. Yeah. So no, number two is right here. That's number two. Oh, there you go. Okay, so number two. That's number two. Okay, so you got number two, so now you can look at what this is rated at, right? So, now you're just going to find the, the placard. It's required by law for the manufacturer to put a placard. Down here is our placard on this one. Both being on our knees. Rudd, uh... Kind of. This is why I take off the panel because it's on the thing. You can take it off though. It's not how that tool. There it is. Oh, R410A. Like I said, there's really different ways. Usually the black and dark have to Receipt for Sorry. So we're going to basically take a jug that we consider is our 410 We hope it is. At least it's set to some of the scale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm take. So we talk about refrigerant drugs. Oh, do we have to zero it out first? Yeah. Go, go set here. And this should go on zero. So zero it when the cylinder is on the you scale? You understand with recovery tanks, there's a difference between yeah. recovery tanks and regular refrigerant, refrigerant tanks. Refrigerant tanks have one port on there. Is that not correct? So you have a pink, you have a Dr. Pink jug or a Dr. Green jug, you have one port. The base, if we want liquid, what do we need to do to get liquid out of that jug? We need to turn it upside down. The liquid comes down. Recovery tanks are different. They have a dip tube. Right down to the bottom. So our liquid port here has a tube that runs right down into the liquid level. And then on this one, it's just pulling off the top where the vapor's at. So that's where you have vapor and liquid. So under the situation here, we want to fill this tank up. Is it easier to pump through the tube and fill this up, or is this easier just to push it right down to the top and let it fill up? Right down to the top. Just put it on the top, right? I usually use my liquid, my liquid top, my liquid for when I'm charging the system pack. And I always use this for whenever I'm doing any type of recovery. I just want to get it in liquid or gas. You're just entering the top while you're building up, building up a level of it. But charging a system, a lot of refrigerants requires to charge the liquid. And so as it's charging the liquid, R410 and 22 are fairly easy. They don't, their glide is so close. They don't split apart as they start to break down like other refrigerants. 
other refrigerants, if we just charge as a gas, we just screw up the entire system. So just make it, oh, when we get in, you'll see how much easier it is actually and faster it is to charge with liquid, even with R22, R4, I think. So we have two ways of doing this. One, we can go ahead and realize that this tank here is zeroed it out now. So we'll hit tear. <coughs> Okay. Put this on, and we're at 29 pounds, two ounces. Mm -hmm. And our tear on this, tear weight on this one is 22. 28. So this is basically an empty tank. It has a little bit in there. So what we can do now is take our output here. Trying to learn over here. <laughs> Who <laughs> 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 You gotta be like that girl. Sing out of us. You ain't scared of us. You let the shit crack up. So now what we're gonna do is basically we're just gonna take this to our, our liquid pour, right? You concur? Uh, okay, we're gonna go here. <laughs> so, I need two hours before. So, now we're tied onto that. Now, we got refrigerants all here. That refrigerants push air to this point. Now, as we open this up, basically, we're gonna take off our liquid line, right? We can go off our liquid line, open that up. We're gonna open this up. Now, we just pushed all that refrigerant and air to that point. Right? Now, you can open that up if you want. So now we're going to hurry up and get all the air out. This is where you can bleed it. Now you purge it. Watch your fingers. The problem is with these, it sucks, doesn't it? Uh, oh, you got to do more of that. Now you just learn the downfall out of one of those. So you can go ahead and close these so off. So this line I should just keep. Just the right line. No, it's from cooking. Nobody thought of No, you yeah, yeah. about it. <laughs> so now the pressure's backed up into that. We're just going to release release the air. Or we can use a little system. Do we need to vacuum there. down that recovery tank or no? What's that? If we didn't need to vacuum down that recovery tank. No, I already had pressure in it. Something's already had it. Did they ever put nitrogen in there? Did no. they give it to you? Nitrogen wouldn't be under. Yeah, when you get it new, yeah. well, you don't have to. Okay, so there is some weight to it. There is no weight to it. Oh no, I mean it's just the tear no. weight. Yeah, when you have nitrogen, nitrogen is inert. It's right. there. You won't have anything. Right. So now we're going to zero this out. What does it say, John? Which one? What am I looking at? Four. That's both four. of us. They're both rain right. So what we four. can do is go ahead and close up our suction, right? I'm just showing you an idea. So you close up our suction. We just have liquid pulling through. And the just went crazy. Should we have the temperature once plugged in or not? No. Temperature is only for total strength, so you can shoot it in so cool. Are you balancing? Here in the wire, remember? What's that? It was all disconnected. Not, not that one. Oh, was it? Just turn the AC on, and now what's happening? The AC is running. It's getting heavier, and we're utilizing the compressor outdoors. The compressor is pushing. Now it's pushing it through and filling your tank. Now, why did you do that? Why did you 
shed you know, this such, shed. Such yeah. a size would, would be our low port side, right? Right. We want to stay on the high pressure side. Mm -hmm. We want to overcome the internal pressure, pressure of, the of this tank. So we're just using the such a side. The such a side is down to what? Only 78 psi. Right. So our 78 psi, we have that tank fill basically tanks will equalize fairly quickly. Here we're at 195, and we're just loading this tank up for the first one. One pound. And the thing is, too, we are going to come to a point here where this is, this is the quickest way to get as much out as we can and then shift over to uh, we Facebook Live Pedro? No. Oh, now we enjoy it. So it's a full at 20 seats because it's 20 seats. Well, no, the tear weight, the tear weight was 28 pounds, right? Tear weight means when I'm an empty tank, this is how much I weigh. Yeah, and so this tank was nearly fairly empty. So the most we're getting, this tank's allowance to take into this, we're maxed, about 22. So we're, we're basically done. It's all those in there. How much did it take? No, well, there's more. That's all we're going to get in there right now. That's all that's 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 in that system. Right? Look at your pressures. Why is that? Why are you paying that? That one, that much? So it's full, is what you said. It's not full, it's that we are, we're injecting the, the pressure in the tank has now pretty much the pressure here. So as this pressure climbs, it will help compensate the pressure we're in for right now. So we can go ahead and close that off. <laughs> Just saying. So now we're done That's there. what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So how much can we actually put in one of those? Two balls. Well, you're right. Ten away times point eight. Or whatever. Okay, you're gonna watch the system equalize. So water capacity times point We used to solve all our whole hobby, so we will come borrow from them and never be turning into so fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much? Well, I have special um, blowback. Oh, no, somebody's in my Come on. It's called blowback. That's why when I screw it, it won't. Yeah, they're 112 bucks. It won't blow back. You won't. Well, the, like minimal. You heard it. So you're going to bleed it into this thing? It's all going to basically... Now we're going to take...